Yeah, yeah. I said, I said. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, so. Sunset is back. I am Jesse Connell. This is the eighth episode of Corner Kick. I'm at Molson Stadium, and it's a record crowd. <laughs> so, who's going to win tonight? Every team, the language connection team. Yeah. Yeah. So, why is the Canadian Corporate Soccer League so much better than the Euro Cup? Uh, mainly, it's because of the field. I think, have you ever seen the rain over there, man? No, oh, I, I, I haven't watched a single game of Euro Cup. It's a mess. But here, it's always like this. It's pretty cool. What do you think makes it so special being able to play at Molson Stadium instead of, I don't know, like in the World Cup? I mean, we've got the Alouettes here too, right? Organization. It's all about organization. The one here is perfect. Magic Television. Now I'm with the Urbania team. So this is Urbania. Urbania plays with the uh, Canadian Corporate Soccer League. They put out a uh, quarterly. I believe. When you come to the game, who are we watching today exactly? Your boyfriend and who, who's that? Number eight. Number eight. Look, here we go. Number eight. Is this a pretty good example for the kids, eh? It is. It is. We've got two boys there over there playing now. Yes, it's a great example. How often will you bring them to the games? Uh, every two week. <laughs> every two, two way. Every two Friday. And she's playing too, so she likes to watch. So you're playing in the Canadian Corporate Soccer League next year? No. <laughs> Alors, cette niveau de soccer, quand on fait niveau de soccer, c'est quoi les différences? C'est, il euh, y a un peu plus de poussage dans ce niveau-là que dans mon niveau. Alors, lequel so est, est meilleur? l'endurance, eux sont meilleurs. Au niveau euh, technique, il y a des joueurs qui seraient capables de battre au niveau technique. Oui, 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 ça pourrait être bon. Ça pourrait être bon. Euh, il est plus fort, il est plus puissant. Il va courir plus vite, euh, il va dominer plus aussi. Les filles sont plus... Euh, sont plus euh, ça joue un petit peu plus euh, offensif que... défensif qu'offensif. Mais moins, moins. C'est oups, oups, oups. <laughs> Do you work with Arpedia? No, I don't work with them, but my boyfriend is playing too, so... Which number is he? Uh, number six. La pelle non basta, se non ce la testa, here with the MVP of the match, Mac Bissonnette. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. A little hurt. At the... <laughs> That's what happens when you score the only goal. How'd you score? Tell me about it. Uh, well, listen, it was a tip-off. The ball came from the center and I just lift my leg, hit the ball and it went right in. So, just a great, great tip-off. That's my son. And that, that one's my stepson. So. It's Tommy it. and that's Fred. There are the, the soccer hooligans at yeah. the Canadian Corps of Soccer League. <laughs> so, uh, why do you like bringing the kids to the match? Well, because they like to come and see Dad play. Yeah. yeah, they don't watch much of it, but they still like to come. <laughs> How do you guys feel going into the rest of the season? We're pretty much at the halfway point. Yeah, I think we're, uh, we, we have a momentum. Uh, you know, we, we lost a game and then... Um, We've been winning ever since, so we won last week, won this week, so I think we're on a roll. Hopefully it'll keep going. And what are we thinking for uh, for the final in the end? Well, you know, What needs to happen for you guys to be comfortable there? Uh, you know, if we can win all our games and at least maybe uh, have some draws up till then, I guess uh, we'll have the momentum. We'll be, uh, we'll be right there. We'll be confident. And, uh, nothing that can stop us. Next stop, the Premiership League. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> this is the uh, soccer hooligans, by the way. In the Canadian Corporate Soccer League, these are the big troublemakers. So, how'd you guys get such good seats? 
Who do you know? It was really, it was really tough. We had to sleep with somebody. <laughs> Three of us. Oh Definitely worth it. What brings you to the uh, Molson Stadium? We're cheering on our friends. Yeah. Who's your friend? Which one's your friend? The soccer player. Oh no, the one with the really shiny shoes. Did you say the soccer player for a second there? <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant to say the goalie. So have you seen these matches before? No, this is the first time. You're in for a real treat. Really? Yeah, these guys, they play, this is a league right below the Premiership League, a division right below the Premiership League. They play for half an hour, they're completely intense. And what's cool about it is they end up playing with like all the people that they're working with, you know? And like, usually you just get to have coffee with those guys, or maybe you're gonna go out for like, I don't know, a Sanka set afterwards. Here you get to like, tackle each other. We put the fans in the spotlight. Because really? Hit one, two, three. Corner kick! Africa, 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 Africa. We're here with uh, Nick Ramix, who uh, is playing for LC Canada. And uh, how are you guys doing today? What could have been... Couldn't take the win, but it was a very close game, right? Yeah, it was a very close game. We didn't do that well. We didn't play that well in the midfield, but uh, we could have done better, yeah. What are you expecting for this season? How do you guys think? You're, what needs to we change? Expect to win. You're gonna win. We're gonna win. Exactly. You, uh, what's gonna be the thing that you've got to change and like work on the most? I guess we gotta work more in the midfield, more in the sides. In what position are you? I uh, play in the midfield, actually. <laughs> exactly. Oh man. I have to improve. We all have to improve, actually. The teamwork. So. Well, there you have it. We're about halfway through the season of the Canadian Corporate Soccer League. This was Division 2. We're having a lot of fun. There were a lot of people here. We were able to set an excellent example for some little kids. One of their uh, fathers actually scored the winning goal for their team. Another man sacrificed his ankle to keep that victory. I'm Jesse Connell. This is the eighth episode of Corner Kick. Falta siempre. Só tu vento, que tudo toca, toca em